A teardown time. This is an old analog security camera that mounted on the wall and of course would monitor uh, inside or outside space. Let's uh, take it apart and see how it was put together. Okay, before we tear it down, let's take a look at the output of the camera. I have a, obviously a black and white checkerboard here and I'll place the camera right on the boundary. You can sort of see the, uh, the signal coming out. What I'm showing here is a single scan line. Uh, let's see, this is the sync signal down here. Uh, this thing here is called the color burst, so I know for certain this is a color camera. And of course, here's a single scan line. If I just get the camera to go across the boundary and move it, of course, you can see the uh, scan line showing uh, white and then black. Uh, black, I think, is upside down. It's always inverted video, if I recall. And there you can see the sort of signal coming out of a standard analog camera. Kind of a neat thing you can do. Uh, very rarely use it, but that's uh, where the video uh, trigger comes in. If you ever see one of those on an oscilloscope, uh, it's designed for this uh, analog uh, output of a uh, camera to uh, synchronize on a single frame. Uh, because it's a color camera, you can do some interesting measurements too. Uh, this is a yellow square and a blue square, of course, and I've propped the camera up a little bit so there's some light that can shine onto it. Uh, so it's quite interesting. The, uh, of course, there's a color burst here. There's the two colors, the um, yellow and the blue. And the way NTSC encodes color is that uh, there's this color burst here, and then it's the uh, phase difference between these color bursts and these patterns here. So if I zoom into this transition here, I should see a classic uh, change of a phase. And it's not going to be this obvious here, but if you start measuring these, these peaks, they're at a very precise uh, cadence. And then if you measure these peaks, they're at a precise cadence. But there's actually going to be a difference between them, uh, which uh, reflects the fact they're different colors. So... It's uh, interesting how they actually achieve color. NTSC uh, used to be a black and white system, and they put this color burst in, and this very clever uh, phase encoding, uh, which of course allowed the color to be done. Let's um, start to uh, take a look at the actual camera. Uh, so this is a classic uh, security camera, and uh, it's actually fairly nicely made. It's a nice uh, aluminum body, and if we take off the first portion here, we can see uh, classic security camera details. Uh, obviously, the actual camera sitting in the center here the uh, IR illumination for night and then of course the sensor here to determine whether it's uh, night or day and that would turn of course these sensors uh, on or off. Uh, so it appears to be a two board assembly. This one comes out. There's a, obviously a connector down to another assembly here which seems to be holding the camera itself and the cabling back into the uh, security system. Let's uh, pop this board out and take a closer look. Okay looking top down on the top side of the board obviously in the center there is the uh, optical sensor. Now it's going to be uh, two possibilities. It's either going to be a CMOS sensor or a CCD sensor. Now there's no markings on the outside of the package, at least on the top side of the circuit board, but uh, if I take a look right to the right of it, uh, I can find this Amagen AA8722, uh, which is uh, marked as a CCD vertical driver, so it comes a clearly, obviously, a CCD. Um, now if it's a CCD, it means there's going to be lots of supporting components around it because unlike CMOS, uh, due to the process rules, you can't put a lot of circuitry on a, a CCD sensor. Uh, let's see, let's uh, take a decap of that sensor chip and we can actually then uh, see its structure. Now it looks like just a bunch of inverters, um, but what it really is is, is level shifting. Uh, it has a 15 volt and a minus 8 volt power supply, which are quite unusual, but that's what the CCD requires. So uh, the driver transistors are uh, marked in red there, and just to the uh, left of it, some transistors uh, related to the uh, very unusual voltages. And below all that, the uh, small transistors which provide uh, the, the differential uh, comparator there, an amplifier, whatever it might be. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the other side of the circuit board and see what we can find on that side. Okay, well I flip the circuit board over and of course now we're seeing a whole bunch more components. Uh, the most obvious one there is uh, marked uh, Avtech and uh, it has a part number associated with it. If I search on the web, I can't find any details on it and I suspect that's because it's proprietary. The Avtech name points me to a Taiwan company and they specialize in video surveillance products. I suspect this is a proprietary integrated circuit designed by them and then put onto assemblies. And then the assemblies are sold onwards to uh, companies. Uh, if I were to de-encapsulate the product, uh, basically take the uh, packaging off of it, I can see the silicon die below and that's what this photograph is. Um, it almost certainly is an application specific integrated circuit. Uh, basically a bunch of building blocks are taken together and then compiled onto a single silicon die. The really regular structures, of course, are memory. Uh, undoubtedly, there's going to be a processor section somewhere in here, and uh, there will, of course, some program uh, for that. Because of the nature of the product being a video product, there's undoubtedly some frame buffers as well. If uh, we look at the middle section, that's all the digital logic. That would have been coded in a language probably like Verilog or System Verilog. 
and then what happens is it gets compiled into a gate structure and put down by um, automated means. Uh, way too many gates to, uh, to lay out by hand. But if you're to zoom into it, you can see the classic uh, green lines, that's the metal running up and down. And then below that, some pink lines, that's the metal running left to right, just like a circuit board, basically. And then, of course, below that, a bunch of polysilicon. If we look at the two things in the corner, uh, they're quite visually interesting. Uh, the one on the upper right, I suspect, has to do with generating uh, composite video signals. It uh, has sort of an analog function in my mind. And that would leave the one on the lower left, not sure, if some sort of utility function, undoubtedly, for the, uh, the chip. Okay, let's keep on going and take a look at the rest of the ICs. Okay, so the component uh, just to the uh, side there that's highlighted is an analog device is 9943. And a very good data sheet available on the web. It's a analog to digital converter. Uh, quite fast for its era, 25 mega samples per second. And if you pop up the die photograph, you can see there's actually a significant digital section there below. Um, I suspect it's a very sophisticated AD converter with all sorts of self-calibration built in. Uh, middle part there, I believe, is the actual AD conversion, then a whole bunch of functions above. Uh, classic high-speed analog circuit design. Uh, let's see here, what else we have? There's a, a square, E squared PROM, probably has the program file. It's to the uh, right of the Avtech uh, processor. Here's its die photograph, obviously a fairly uh, modest process node, not too many bits there. Uh, at the very bottom, there's a quad op amp, the LM358, and here's that uh, photograph. Uh, clearly a very simple analog function, uh, product dating back probably 40 years now. And on the extreme lower right, uh, we see a probably a voltage regulator, and uh, here's its die photograph. Zooming out, what else? Uh, ENIG coated, uh, that means it's gold-plated, uh, super choice for a uh, harsh environment. Uh, undoubtedly this camera can be mounted outdoors. Um, and then a date code, uh, 20788, uh, that was probably the manufacturer date of the actual um, circuit board. That gives us a good indication as to the uh, provenance of this particular product. So there we go. Uh, that is a uh, analog uh, camera and the parts inside of it.